Hey guys, what's up? It's Carl here, back with another episode. Hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. It's week number three of isolation on my end. I've been lucky enough to isolate myself here and also in my new studio, so I am setting that up. It is almost complete, but I thought I'd share a quick little video on some of the tech that I transfer between both spots. I know a lot of us are at home pretty bored, so I'm hoping some of these pieces will make your life a bit less boring. The first piece, a backpack, which I picked up right before this entire pandemic started. It's not as techy as most of my other packs. It doesn't have any camera slots. It's not a specific tech bag, but I think it's the best looking pack that I do own and it's the HereFest Travel Nylon Pack. It's super minimal, has all the essentials. There's absolutely no branding, which I'm a fan of. You've got the main compartment to store all of your laptops, books, all of the key essentials, and even say a smartphone in its own little pouch up top. I usually bring workout clothes between here and the new studio. I try to do my home workouts, try to stay active. If you wanna see some, follow me over on Insta. I might even make a quarantine vlog to show you guys what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. It's got a front zipper, which I use to house all of my gaming stuff. More on that in a bit. And overall, it's just a very minimal pack. I don't think you can go wrong with something this simple. So hopefully once this pandemic is all over, we're back outside, we can start to use backpacks when we go back to school, back to work, wherever you may be traveling to. My next essential minimal piece has been my iPad Pro. And I'm really trying to use this as my sole device. I've moved away from the laptop game, at least for the next couple weeks. iPads are great time burners because I can not only play a couple games, I managed to keep up on some of my emails. I can check stocks. I'm switching between apps. And I've actually started a bit of Apple TV Plus. I'm crushing the morning show only because Steve Carell's in it. And I always imagine him pulling out a Michael Scott line. If you guys have watched it or have any other recommendations, if you haven't seen Tiger King yet, get on the train. It is the best show that I have seen this year. Ladies and gentlemen, before you hear it on the news, I'm gonna tell you myself, about an hour ago, we had an incident where one of the employees stuck their arm through the cage and a tiger tore her arm off. Smartphones that I carry with me right now are two of the latest Android flagships. We have the latest Huawei P40 Pro and of course the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Both are lightning quick, but for the Huawei side, since you need to now download apps using their app gallery, we don't have access to a full suite of social media apps like say Instagram or even Twitter. They do have Snapchat or TikTok, which I am not joining. That's one of my goals. I will not fall into that trap. That's unfortunately the reality right now of Huawei Huawei devices, but both have pieces of a camera. I said that the Huawei could potentially beat the Samsung. Here are sample shots. I will leave my unbiased opinion and let you guys decide. Let me know down below. Funnily enough, I have been bringing my GoPro with me to my new studio as I just wanna get as much footage as I can of the renovation. I wanna share that with you guys. I've connected it to new flooring. I've set up a couple time lapses. Like I mentioned, we're around a week and a half, maybe two weeks, depending how much work I can get done of that new studio tour. So if you wanna see a Q and A, if you wanna see those at home workouts, all of that is building up. So stay posted. I promise it will be worth it. I'm just absolutely clueless when it comes to home renos. That's why it's been taking me so long. If you're really looking for ways to pass the time, there is nothing like gaming to burn through hours of the day. So I've been rocking my Nintendo Switch a lot. I also know a lot of people have tried out Animal Crossing. I still haven't got it. I'm still on The Legend of Zelda, one of my all time fave games. Link's Awakening was the first game that I got for my Game Boy Color, so I'm trying to achieve that same 100% completion on the remastered version. If you're a bit more OG though, books are one of the best ways to spend some time. I've got a couple of recommendations, and the first was something that I picked up only because it was orange. Thanks, Samsung. <laughs> it is the subtle art of not giving a fuck. I think it's a great read on just your overall outlook on life and not to care too much about what other people think. And the second one is collab. If you are into any of the sneaker game, sneaker culture, there's some pretty cool visuals and goes over some of the coolest sneaker collabs of the past 20 years or so. 
But yeah, that's kind of some of the tech that I've been rocking in my daily pack and helps me keep sane during all of this isolation time. Really hope all you guys are staying safe. If you wanna see any other vids, let me know down below as well. I'm working on a couple like that fabled new studio tour that will get done hopefully very soon. Hope you guys are staying safe, staying healthy, and remember all links of all these stuff are listed down below. Peace.